Osaka, so I'm Dreadbane, joined by Sapphire and our guest JT. And this is the second match between our purple Zerg Moonglade and as the red Protoss. Now this is Lost Temple, and I'm looking forward to this second match, sir. Yeah, really exciting game one there. I was shocked to see as take it over Moonglade. I'm being such a... Uh really high expectations of Moonglade going into this tournament, having won the previous tournament and being playing so well and so strongly in Phase 2. He was basically untouchable there at the top of Diamond League. So, yeah, no, very surprised at the outcome, but Az just played so well that High Templar usage was just fantastic and Moonglade had no answer. So, very interested to find out whether Az is going to do the same thing. He doesn't have the advantage that he does on Blistering Sands to throw up that double gate block, but he is going with a very similar build here and throwing this early pylon outside his expansion, so we may see ga a gateway walling go up. It do the Lost Temple doesn't favor it as well as Blistering Sands, which is kind of like a gift mapped for Protoss, but we are seeing as with a similar play, you can do some similar trickery here on Lost Temple, which we are seeing. Once again, Moonglade's trying to interrupt it, but Moonglade's drone was a little bit slower this game, so Moonglade's uh, scouting at least seems to has lost a step since last game. Maybe it's just as his confidence and he's playing just uh, that little, little bit tighter and there's a little bit more spring in his step. But so far, looking pretty standard from both players. Just interested to find out whether or not Moonglade is going to go for a fast expansion or go for some kind of all-in pressure to try and take out this fast wall-in that we're seeing from as. Yeah, it's, it's always an interesting debate when, you know, when you lose the first match, if you completely change up everything, like if you stop going Hydro Roach, or if you actually, you know, if you try and maybe counter what the opposition had the last game. So, uh, yeah, what were your thoughts on, you know, basically this rematch, JT? Uh, yeah, I'll be uh, very curious to see uh, what build uh, As uses and uh, how Moonlight uh, reacts to it, because uh, we all know that those Storms last time won it for As, totally. And uh, I just don't know uh, if uh, Moonblade can pull something out to counter that if that for as goes again. Yeah, we are seeing As come out with this early pressure, and this is a bit faster this time. Last time he was throwing down that Psychor and building his army up before going for it. Now we're seeing this, what I assume was a wall in operate almost like a proxy all in rush here. So we are seeing Zealots move out across the map with a worker, the initial scouting probe, committing to this fight, and we're seeing. Four, six Zerglings warp out here against one Zealot and one Probe, and they're doing a nice around there. Nice trap. Really nice micro there from Moonglade, who picks off that Zealot. We have another Zealot warping in, and they're just streaming across here. So, Az is just looking to really, really interrupt Moonglade, force him to one base here, which he is doing, but Moonglade's reacting so nicely. He's microing his Zerglings so well, getting a drone involved as well, while these Zerglings go to work, taking out the Worker first, and now it's picking off the Zealot, but they're all very, very banged up, and we are seeing another Zealot coming here, and more on the way from Az here, so he is really committing to this. He isn't building up his forces, he's just getting picked off one by one. So, so far, Moonglade is just handling this absolutely fine, and finally, Az is turning around his workers, although he does still have that rally point in uh, Moonglade's expansion, and he is chrono boosting more zealots, so he is committing to this and throwing up a forge, so he's looking to transition into a forge fast expand, although he did go for that early all impression, we are seeing a little bit of retaliation here from Moonglade, who has been walled in here, going to work on this pylon, if this zealot is drawn out of position, as it is, Moonglade may attempt to do a run by, which he is tempting, oh no, he is committing to fighting these zealots, one zealot getting very low on shields, more reinforcements coming in. These zealots trying to go to work on these zerglings, cup, racking up a few kills, but finally two are picked off. And this probe trying to clog the gap, wisely throwing down another pylon here, which will slow down these zerglings from getting into the base. So very nice last minute save there from Az, otherwise he would have had six zerglings running around his base. But this, thanks to this zealot coming in, he basically trapped half those zerglings in place and he was able to hold those off. And Az has very nicely thrown down a photon cannon as well. So now Zerglings are going to have to run in and deal with this wall in, and there's going to be a cannon to work on it. So now we're going to have to see whether Moonglade focuses on teching up and getting his macro online from this position, or actually commits to a Baneling bust. I have seen um, Chef, for instance, a very top-level Zerg player, use... Queens as a tank to break these Protoss walls and just flood it with Baneling, so I'm not sure if we'll see that from Moonglade, but I know it is one of the tricks that's going out there in high-level Zerg play, so I'll be curious to see whether Moonglade opts for that or whether he macros up into Hydro Roach or possibly even Mutalisks. There's two more Zealots going into the expansion now without the Zerglings to back up this Queen, so this Queen 
very tentative to attack. While these uh, zealots are trying to get a couple pro kills, the zerglings do run back very, very quickly now and will make very short work of these zealots, I'm sure, before they can do too much damage. Getting completely surrounded and taken out very, very quickly there. So, uh, Moonblade recovered quite nicely. I really like the play from both players at the start of this match. I like the fact that Az took it to Moonglade and, you know, like last game, he put him on the back foot very early on. Then Moonglade had the wherewithal to actually counter and that clutch, actually last pylon, you know, helped out a lot just to make sure that we're not, that there was not a Zergling party really in um, Az's base there. So, yeah, a very nice play by both players at the moment. And now Az just really needs to build up a force before, um, I mean, Moonglade, you know, has so many Zerglings out at the moment, so he does need to build up a bit of a force now. Uh, and, do you see anything interesting, J2? Uh, the, all this aggression early on from both players uh, has meant that, that their uh, tech on both sides is delayed. So uh, there's lots of gas now uh, for Az. He's got four gas up and, and going at it, so uh, he'll have a lot of gas stored up soon to... Uh, to go, maybe uh, we can see some void rays. He's just getting down his second gateway, but uh, it'll be interesting to see where he puts his tech. Yeah, I'm not sure what Az is going to go for here. He does look like he's throwing up four gates, so now this is his fourth gateway.